boy, how are we feeling? It's been a while, huh? I... <laughs> oh, my niece. Oh, they just got a new hammock, and I'll tell you, she just loves that thing. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> She's a firecracker, that one. Boy, she could just... Oh, okay. Anyway, I see here that it has been a while. Um, you, uh, you do still remember me, don't you? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, how's your mom? Uh, seems she's taken a bit of a hiatus from her yearly checkups as well. Hmm? <laughs> she's good, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Hey, she's not cheating on me, is she? I'm sorry? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not. She's known as the loyal one, so no worries there. No worries here. Uh, I've got options. I am a doctor. <laughs> Relax, I'm just kidding. Yeah. All right, Abby, uh, what brings you here today? Um, well, I've been having trouble relaxing uh, a lot lately, and it's just, it seems to have gotten worse, and I have anxiety for, like, no reason whatsoever, and um, it happens mostly at work and at 7 p.m. Okay, well, uh... What happens at 7 p.m. that causes you to feel this way? My anxiety. Right, of course. Why do you suppose this is happening at work and at this specific time? I honestly have no clue. That's why I'm here, I guess. Mm-hmm. And uh, what's the other part of that? Well, I, I guess it's just the one thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, go on. Well, it's kind of hard to explain. It's just like I'm just waiting for this slightest sensation to occur, and then it's like I'm overwhelmed, well, and I feel like I'm... Well, let me like go I'm ahead and look in your mouth. All right, let me see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And uh, how long has this been going on? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, what was that? Since, I think, last summer. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. What we're going to look at. All right. Abby, I am going to say that you are suffering from some underlying depression. De okay. I don't really feel depressed, just mostly anxious, you know. Right. Well, that's why I said underlying. It's not something you would immediately identify. But you did. I did what? You identified the condition. Okay, now I'm confused. Well, maybe I just don't understand what underlying means. It's simple. There is a root cause potentially inducing a depressive state, such as uh, oh, a financial stressor or a serious medical condition, hey, living in a war zone, uh, loss of a family member, uh, hey, Pets included. Huh? And these are just a few of the more common examples. Right, but what about the anxiety? Mm-hmm. Uh, what about? Is that part of this type of depression? It's not really a type, Abby. It just is. Look, let's not try to overanalyze this. All right? You're going to come through this just fine, okay? Now, I'm going to get you started on uh, 20 milligrams of Prozac once daily, and we'll have you come back in, oh, 30 days. We'll see how you're feeling at that time. Right, but, but is Prozac safe? Why would you ask that? Well, I mean, I've just heard of people being on it and just going postal. Hmm. My wife works at a post office, and uh, that is really an offensive term, Miss Boyd. It's Lloyd. But look, I'm sorry. You know, I think you're referring to those folks who do not take these medications as prescribed or simply take them recreationally. Right. I just didn't think I was depressed. Let's just see each other in about 30 days. Alrighty? Alrighty. <sighs>